All right, people, so because I love you, I'll show you a good trick. And that is the gift of Brasso. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are alternatives. Uh, so I've learned about this from Matt over at um, Tecmo, right? So he was using this for exactly this purpose and I immediately went out of my way and bought one. Uh, now it's a bitch getting shit out of uh, England because they have the whole Brexit shit. So this was very expensive. I think this was about 30 euros to get hold of, but I mean, it's a lot and for the purposes I'll be using it for, it's gonna last quite a while. So this is metal polish in the form of wadding, right? So this is kind of similar to fiberglass insulation. Um, so mine came pretty bent. Let me try and jimmy this open, right? So it kind of looks like this. Smells like smells like gasoline. It smells exactly like petrol, right? And so you'll be getting some of this, and you can use it to right polish metal for sure. It's probably a bit much, but like, uh, I mean, it is on camera, so I'll try to seem generous and not stingy. Anyway, so what you'll be doing with this, right? Let's start with the fucked up display. You have these uh, LCD displays, right, which actually have a glass panel, right? It has to be glass, otherwise I, I'm not sure it works on plastic so well. Uh, if anyone has used it, let me know. And you get these scratches forming, right, on calculator screens, car radio screens, as this one obviously is. And so Matt says that you can use this eliminate these scratches very nicely so let's get a good baseline I mean the other ones aren't that bad but let's let's do start with this one okay so set it down here and probably fast forward Right, so I've went at this for the best part of 10 minutes. And you can see I have polished the center section. However, this cut is super deep. And I'm hoping you can get the, the detail on this. I mean, it's so bad that it actually cracked the screen, so. Uh, yeah, I think you can go even more, but I mean, just to eat away half a millimeter or even one millimeter, how, how deep is this? Uh, you're going to need something more than the metal wadding. Okay, so that being said, let's move on to the next contender. So this is just a screen that has noticeable but not mission critical blemishes. Let's, uh, let's call it that. So, I mean, you could definitely see them. They do cast a shadow. And I'm going to say that we can get all of these out. All right, so let's see. All right, so I've uh, just about had it with this. Let's uh, bring in some window cleaner. Get the benzene off. And yeah, it doesn't have that um, matte finish anymore, so it has gotten a lot glossier. Most of the these scratches, right, the deeper scratches I would say are gone. Still have the finer ones, but I think I think these are actually left by the wool, although I'm highly uncertain of this. What is this? God damn it. Alright, so this again seems to be quite a deep mark, but anyway. So I hope this uh, shows you what this can do, obviously, with different formulations of glass, you'll get different results. Um, so yeah, I hope that was informative. 
I'll uh, try and get back with a better example if I find one. But these these glasses seem quite uh, quite tough, so maybe that's why they're so hard to work on. But anyway, hope it helped. Have a good one.